Alright, it back to going towards the river, Rich Road. Got a Cajun pasta from the Sidecar Cafe. Oh, this charger drives me crazy. I've had it for a year, over a year, so it's it's paid its dues. I think it's the, it's definitely not the ch charge cord. It is definitely the, the housing, I guess, where the charger cord goes. This doesn't work anymore. Just have to get another one. I don't think, I don't even know what those cost either. And then having to wait for it to get in and all that jazz. I guess it would be in the history. Be... Shite. <laughs> I think I'm cracking up the Yeah, I'm just gonna do it. I'm about to leave. That's the beauty of Memphis. Uh, we, this is in a video before. That wow, we have we are just in the, the giantest uh, wooded area. Memphis is Shelby County is just woods, 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 woods. This used to be a big lumber town. I, I don't know if it still is or not, but back when we did cotton, uh, I think cotton was uh, Mississippi and Arkansas. And Memphis was all about wood lumber, I guess, I think. But anyways, yeah, that's one thing we've got is a lot of wood here. And every single person has got the ability to have a bad-ass garden if they really want it. They just, you know, dug deep and said, you know what, I don't want to have my own fruit and vegetables. Um, so potential's there. Just gotta harness it. You, know, you just gotta even know it exists. Shit. The guy that came up with the idea, I'm, sh I'm sure I told you about this too, is that he was he's actually handicapped. Um, when he was young, he had a garden. I like to recap. I'm fairly positive I said this before. But he had a garden all of his life. And uh, he lived with his parents and there, he lived through the Great Depression and didn't even know it even existed because he always had a roof over his head, you know, well fed, clothes on his back, and would go out until, you know, make a day of it out in the, out in the, in the, uh, the garden. And it come, turns out, you know, he goes to the military once, once he comes of age and gets Agent Orange while he was there. And now he's crippled. So he wants to do the same stuff he was doing back when but but 
was um, having trouble because of his condition. And um, some people will just have no cooth. I guess that's the word, no cooth. Um, yeah, so now he's, now he's in a position where he's having trouble just being a gardener. So, because of his condition. And um, so, he comes out with this idea to um, go out in the woods because he was just having trouble just doing the normal things of gardening like tilling and watering and feeding and all that stuff and, and he come, come to the conclusion that you know I can't do what I used to the world around me doesn't help me out that way so I'm going to just go out in these woods I mean look at them they're just taking care of themselves no one's doing anything for these woods but they're look how healthy no one prunes them nothing they're just perfect and uh, he walks out in the woods and looks in the soil and he says oh my god look at this soil it's just black it's just it smells great it doesn't have any like any bad smell to it it's just it just smells like fresh air and um and so he just says okay look at the you got pine needles you got leaves you got uh bark you got branches and everything's kind of just compo uh, decomposing here uh, composting and uh no one's doing it every it's just every year it just folds over on itself and uh, that's what churns it that's what makes it black so he, he said well I'll just do this in my garden I'll just I'll just do this with my orchard he tried he did with the orchard first and he, you know he spent years I think he said 15 years he did his orchard that way without even realizing that his garden could have been done the same but it turns out he, he figured it out eventually 15 years later this was 40 something years ago 50 something years ago but he figured it out and um, it works great it's amazing you put 12 inches of wood chips down that's for your garden so 12 inch wood chips is a wood chip truck and wood chip truck is what they do with a wood chipper and a, and a dump truck and the wood chipper you put the, the tree you want the whole tree, like the branch and the leaves and the bark and all that. You put it in the wood chipper and it shoots in the back of the dump truck. <clears throat> and then you take that and you dump it. Um, and you do it 12 inches deep. And uh, you do it right before winter, uh, 12 inches deep. And then spring comes and the, the wood chips, uh, you know, decompose into the ground. And then spring comes and bam, you have fertile soil, wet uh, compost. So you put some seeds down, you wait a month, you come back later, bam, you you know, you make your rows, you pull, I, I, would, I would pull four inches back, make my rows, um, uh, uh, plant my seeds, and then, and then wait, um, uh, wait for uh, a month, and bam, you you got you a big beautiful garden. You don't have to water it, you don't have to till it, you don't have to feed it. It's just there forever. I mean, you have to redo it every year, but once you've done it, once it's been done, it's done, and you got the most fertile garden ever and that's what all these kids all, all these all these schools all these kids everybody needs to have it there's no reason it shouldn't happen all right well, i gotta make this deliberate